Onion. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my wife said I got to lighten up a little bit, so we're here at the guest kitchen tonight. So our good friend John and Kay. Uh, we're in Newport, Oregon. Uh, I caught a couple of sea bass. Yeah. So those look like filleted out. Uh, I'm going to cut these into, into strips for tacos. Uh, they over here, my wife and John Kay, they're over here at the kitchen table talking. They are going to give me a hard time. I know they are. But we've got the sharp knife. We've got a cutting board. We've got a couple of dishes here. We have cornmeal and flour mixed up together. And and we're going to throw some spices in there and roll them all up. And then we're going to fry them up quick. So I'm going to start cutting on this stuff. And... Uh, a little piece of sea bass. Yep. I, I, I just, just may do that. We take one of these here with a good sharp knife. We just take this strip right off the end like that. And uh, we'll cut them into strips because the strips come, they cook up a lot nicer and a lot quicker. Cut them like that. Cut them like that. We want to make sure we have all the silver skin off of there because it was late. Late last night when I got to the fillet table, and uh, that stuff's a little bit tough. We don't want that in there, but it is what it is. We need to uh, just make sure we do the best we can every time. So, <laughs> my, my wife says she doesn't want to be arguing. And uh, <laughs> while I'm doing this, they're over there talking smack about me. So, it's all right. It's quite all right. I can take it. So, we take this, make sure there's no bones in there. Take that down there. Let's take this one down the middle. And uh, take them like that. Nice. Smaller, smaller cuts. They'll fry up nice. And uh, yes, it's just how we do it. It's just how we do it. No, he should though, because he's getting awfully boring. You need to put a bam in there. You put a bam in here. Do I need to, do I need to put a bam in here? They're saying I need to put a bam in here. Figure out what, what we need to do. You know, one of those things like go, geez, oh, gee whiz. Um, no, I won't do that. I won't cut my finger off. I promise. Um, when I when I get my own uh, Lionel spices and that, that kind of thing, when I figure out that rub that I want, I will definitely put a bam in here. Oh yeah, he only shows ingredients. He never tells them how he's doing. I never want to tell everybody exactly how I'm doing something. That would be on a recipe page as soon as I figure it all out and put it on there. But but this is going to be. What's that? Are you on hold? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is a sea bass all cut up into smaller pieces. We're going to take this uh, wonderful mix of flour and uh, flour and cornmeal, sprinkle it, sprinkle it in there like that. We're going to dip this dip this in here. Do we want egg? Yeah, why not? We'll, we'll do open egg. We'll, we'll do an egg wash, and then we'll then we'll throw it in here. And it'll be great. I promise it'll be great. Look at there. Flip them all over like that. Got me a piece of that silver, that, that extra skin thing that I don't want. Oh, there, here's Kay right here. Hello. There's my beautiful Kay. <laughs> Grandma. Who's <Here's> Grandma? <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> this, this woman helped her help raise me. Yep. In there, be great. One, uh, two, we'll do two. Why not? Two. Okay. Chickens are cheap. Okay. Okay. We we use the store bought eggs tonight because we didn't bring any any farm pressures. But it's all right. 
We'll all live through that. Yeah, we're just shutting down. Maybe. No, we've got one on the computer still. I got oh, this one pointing yeah, down at the food, and, and this one yeah. here pointing at us. Oh. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. We'll take some of this. Oh, some of this Johnny's season season salt here. Uh, they got two cameras. They're good. Oh, we're gonna throw it in here like this, mm-hmm. just a little bit. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. And, and, and she's got this uh, garlic, garlic, and garlic, all natural, salt-free stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I see this has got tape on the lid to hold her clothes. But you can't keep me out of that. Just because it's garlicky. And I like garlic. We'll take one of these. We'll take a fork and we'll mix that up a little bit. Just, just a little bit like that. You can still see the stuff in there, right? All right. All right, I'm going to have to pause this for a second. I gotta heat up the oil in the pan. I'll be right back, I promise. Well, then you need the other three. All righty. <laughs> uh, this young lady, Kay, is, is, is the one that helped, helped raise me from being just, just a young spud. She, she taught me how to use chopsticks when I was that big. Um, she is the one that took the, took the chopsticks away from my wife and gave her tongs because she didn't need to use chopsticks. Now, this is a wonderful thing, uh, being able to cook like this for because I just feel very privileged doing this. So, I got oil heating up in the pan. I got fish laying here, the, the breading laying here, egg. We're going to egg wash. We're going we're gonna, to uh, dip in the, in the, the breadcrumbs. The, it's, it's cornmeal and flour with Johnny's season, season salt. And, and garlic stuff. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, hopefully, this is going to come across really, really, really well. We're watching Bowling on the TV set, and they're over here giving me a hard time about not being Emerald Legazzi. So, I don't want to be that guy. I want to be this guy. All right, we got some we got some fish going in there. In the breading, we got the oils nice and hot now. Um, I, know, I, I stuck my finger in there, it's about 375, maybe, maybe close to 400 degrees right now. But, yeah, we're just rolling that in there. And then we lay it in that oil. I might have to add some oil here in a minute. Oh, she's going to turn the fan on me. She don't like the smoke. She don't like the smoke. We'll do a few more like this. Roll them up like that. And drop them in the goodies. All kinds of fun. And you remember from my first video with the, the salmon bites. Uh, the tempura salmon bites. Uh, that was in next door. That was uh, absolutely next door to, to this place right here. My, my good buddy, my, my good buddy Scotty P, if you know what I'm saying, uh, lived over there most of the time. And he's my, my fishing buddy. Yeah, that was the first time he did it. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is the family right here. I'd, I'd take you over there and show you this cooking, but got, got my hands a little busy right now. I got a paper towel in this hand because I always need a paper, paper towel in my hand. I just, I just need it. Kind of fast paced. Take this and flip, flip it over like that. I've got this southern shop here, man. Just like that. Take it. 
Pete was also on your wife. I think he was off after touching the edge. Yeah. Uh, like that right there. Out here, put paper towel right there in that in that dish, in this dish, so I can so I can pop these out of here and drop them right on top of that paper towel. It'll drain some of that oil out. Green thing that, that covers covers the pan, so we don't get we don't get oil splatters all over the, all the stove like I already have. But we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna clean, clean this whole place up when I'm done. I don't like having oil on my stove. I'm not gonna leave it on, on my friend's stove. Let's get some more of these going. Smell. You're trying to pull some of these out. Sounds kind of boring right now, but look at them tasty memos right there. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Now, this is going to go uh, probably make up some uh, red chili reduction aioli. Uh, throw a little bit of garlic in there. It's going to be a beautiful thing. I'm going to finish cooking these things up, and I'm going to start on the chicken, and I'll be back. All righty, boys and girls, we have a pretty good mess of that fish all cooked up. We got chicken breast here. Chicken breast sharp knife. You know how I you know how I feel about a sharp knife. So take the little fat patties off of there. And we'll trim that into little strips like that. We'll do the same thing. We're it the same way. That is so that it's it in the egg. Into the flavor goodies. And then into the hot oil. Then we just park. We're going to leave these ones long, though. As far as I know. So, there's one, one breast of right there. No. Sure. Not even on our maker shop. Just uh, make sure we get. Yeah, they figured their prices were good enough. Anyway, but they did pay good. They paid really good. They had yeah. really good benefits. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I didn't, don't want to cut on that anymore, so we're just going to leave it like Not that. Not as good as the schools, but... <laughs> but, take it like that, flip it like that. I've got really good benefits. i got excellent dental benefits, which is what helped him with his dental. I got I'll throw it in there like that. With uh, his dental Does that just insurance. look like all kinds of fun to I you? That's it. Looks it like fun to me. Works. Every time you go to the dentist, that's course. probably why I'm getting so all. Uh, my wife says I need to get a guest, a guest chef in and here. And so, um, yeah, that to dental, dental banter dental back and forth with. Uh, I can do that. What do you guys think? What all of y'all think? Do I need to get Savage the Boss in here? I got fed up with and, that and do a cooking show. Do I need to import somebody? Like a bearded lady? They say that we have better dental insurance than they do. 
Do I need to import the bridge now? I'll see what I can do about doing that. Let me get this, get this stuff kind of off my hands here. Open up that cover. See, I, I clipped my camera in the cover door. There we are. We're cooking. We're frying. This is the young right there. This is the uncooked cooked chicken youngs. Egg stuff. So put this back on the on the cover door. Man, I got it right the first time. But this is how it's happening. We're just dipping in the egg. Got my car then into the into the gums here. That's okay. Uh -oh. I still got that right. beer. Yeah. Uh oh. Mm. Drop down to two beers. Two more little grape juice. That'll do it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go rob a liquor store here pretty quick. Just saying. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I'll bet I'm still drinking it. We're just cutting her up. Take that big one with fat on her. I'm like, they got cats over here. Siamese cats. Ming. Ming and Mark. So I might I might cook up those extra fatty pieces just for them. Okay, if you hear that, hear that sizzling, sizzling sound, that's that chicken. This is a very uh, light compared to the beer that I do. Really, 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 really handy. Yeah. Put those over like that. Ten barrels? Yeah. Chicken, throwing it on the pan. I got three pieces off. One, one still crisping up a little bit. Loggers and pilsners. Yeah, that's it. across the sidewalk from Rogue Brewery here, here in Newport, Oregon. I got a water over there once that was Irish water from 
That was a really good time on this time over here. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Okay. Back to the fish or er, yeah, chicken. Nice yeah. little chicken strip. Throw it in this. Yeah. I got uh, all the wool in the bottom of this pan. Strong flavor. And yeah. really ho hoping to keep it to, at the yeah, right temperature for cooking this stuff, not yeah. overcooking it. Um, What's going to happen is we're going to cook up the rest of the stuff. Uh, Mama Katie's got, uh, like got some uh, like the, uh, uh, vegetables yeah, steaming yeah. in the microwave. Got lots of butter on them. Yeah, and they're, they're vegetable bedding, carrots and peas and beans and corn, all kinds of good stuff in. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop this out of here. Uh, I'll come back in just a minute. Alrighty, boys and girls, we got the chicken done. We got the fish done. Chicken breasts, sea bass. Those are little little chunks. That's the leftover pieces I was gonna give those to the cats. But <laughs> Mama says it's, it's good, so I'll believe it. So we have uh, shortcakes. We have hood strawberries that are that are cut up, juicing up right now. Uh, those are gonna be for for uh, dessert. Uh, it looks like the rice is done. We'll move on to a plating section here in just about a second. Uh, I'm going to pause you and come back to you, I promise. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the secret to the aioli sauce. We have uh, mayo and tapatio. Like that? This is, this is chili pepper reduction in the, in the mayo. And... In French, they think that if you mix anything with mayo, I think it comes from Canada myself, but if you mix anything with mayo, you call it aioli, and it makes it makes it sound so much better. So I use that. I use that fancy word aioli. You want kind of a kind of a pink tip to it? Yeah, a little, a little bit of pink to it. Uh, John, he don't like spicy food much, so. We'll get this right, right to the point where, where he can just barely stand it, and it, it'll, it'll, it'll be kind of like butter to us. But you know, yeah, we almost there. We're gonna have to make another trip down to the Mexican restaurant and get another bottle of that stuff. They have it on the tables down there for free, like samples. So we mix all that together just like that looks all nice and pretty we take a piece of that piece of that sea bass right there dip it in there and oh that's yummy sure it's not hot nope just flavor not too bad too hot A little bit, a little bit of that. Uh, little bit. Well, it doesn't say there's any any vinegar in here, but it's made from uh, water, red peppers, salt, spices, and garlic, acetic acid, and xanthan gum. So I can't be all that bad. So we're gonna serve this and this with this with rice and vegetables. Please. Uh, I need to throw a shout out to uh, Rick at Portland Bagel Works. He's gonna be a great guy. He's a musician also. He gave me permission to use uh, to, to use one of my favorite songs he ever wrote to uh, do an intro and outro to these things. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Savage, I need your help. Um, the, to uh, Cyclops Gaming for the for the logos. You see the logo? See my logo? I have that on t-shirts and tank tops and leggings and coffee mugs and die cut stickers. Uh, go, go to my page, uh, hillbillyfoodporn.com, hillbillyfoodporn on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, uh, Food Hillbilly. Go to go, go to uh, my YouTube channel. This is going to air in, on YouTube in early June on a Friday morning. Uh, go, go to my YouTube channel. You'll find a link to all these things, all these places. Go to my Discord. Go to my Patreon account. 
if you go to go to Patreon, subscribe to my Patreon account, become become a patron. Um, if you become a bootlegger, uh, it costs 10, 10 bucks a month. It helps me do what I do best, which is making you kind of giggle and laugh at a fat guy cooking food. So this this is what it's all about. This is gonna this is absolutely gorgeous, tasty. I'm gonna pull out some rice. I am gonna get this ready. We're gonna throw it all on the table. I will talk to you soon. Please, everybody. Eat right, well, boys and girls. We, I told you I would plate some of this stuff and show you. Here it is. We got the on a white plate. You really don't see the rice very well. We got we got nice lighting in here. Nice colorful vegetables. We have the fish here and the chicken here. Uh, I haven't dropped any of the aioli on there yet, but we've got soy, soy sauce and aioli on it on the table. Uh, we are going to sit down and eat. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, please uh, comment, like, share, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, go to my Patreon, and subscribe and become a, become a bootlegger. Uh, it will really help me out. You go to my go to my Teespring account and and get yourself some uh, get yourself some hillbilly food porn merch. I know I'm not wearing it right now, but I got one. I got the original OGs. So um, soon we'll be having. Uh, uh, guest guest cooks, guest chefs, uh, more hillbilly folks like me, and we'd be cooking up all kinds of good stuff for you. Remember to all eat well.